In this video, we will go through some examples of vector addition. We will be using the consistent coordinate system strategy. Make sure that you review and understand vector components before proceeding. In this treatment of vector addition, you set up a coordinate system, both Cartesian and angular, reference all angles relative to it, and calculate components as well relative to this system. The components will already include the negative sign when it refers to direction. In our first example, we have two displacements and their direction relative to the positive x-axis is already given. We are asked to find their vector sum. For such addition of vectors, it is useful to draw the picture. Remember when adding vectors to use the tail to head approach. To calculate vector components, you must first declare your Cartesian and angular coordinate system. Then you calculate the components using SOCA TOA. Note that some components will be negative. Calculate the components of the resultant vector per coordinate. Convert back to polar coordinates. Remember the magnitude of the resultant must be greater than either of its components and you must check the angle for the correct quadrant. Check your calculated result versus the anticipated result from your initial drawing.
In the second example, you are asked for the resultant 2a minus b. The angles of each vector are initially given with respect to the closest axis. First, you must anticipate the result based on a graphical addition. Before calculating components, you must set up the coordinate system, both Cartesian and Angular. Recalculate the angles of each vector with respect to your new coordinate system. Calculate the components and check that the positive and negative signs agree with your coordinate system. Use the resultant formula in each coordinate direction. Convert back to polar coordinates. and check that your result is consistent with your initial picture. This treatment of vector addition is useful in such problems as position, displacement, and relative velocity. In later topics, such as force, however, we are going to use an alternate strategy that will calculate components first by magnitude only and insert the signs only upon use.